I'm going to do an update on my Bedini motor. I finally have realized how to troubleshoot the tripole circuit boards. Um, basically, you really got to have a 2 watt 100K ohm resistor, that big blue one right there in the board. And this one I had a 1 watt, and I just replaced the resistors, the big blue one, with a 2 watt. And on this board, I already had those, but I replaced the diodes and two transistors that burn up when a coil melted and put that whole board into meltdown. So yeah, you got to be careful how you dissipate your heat. Um, but anyway, I have four circuits here. As you can see, I have four coils. And down here, I'm working on how to get electricity from the underside of the magnet off this wheel. Um, I tested this coil right here and I got 2.0 volt, volts out of it. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to have to stack the voltage and alternate the field north, south, north, south all the way around to produce the 24 to 48 volts. If I can get two volts out of each coil and then somehow stack it to a 48 volt configuration then I can run it into an inverter and make power while I go ahead and draw off the batteries and charge the batteries. Right now I'm running a 1 amp maintainer and I think it's putting out about uh, 0.75 amps up to 1 amp to charge this big marine battery which a friend gave me across the street. So anyway, <coughs> I wanted to show you now that all the circuits are repaired with the right components, um, I want to show you the RPM and what it comes up to. Oops. 192.858 is about right for what I'm running. I bought this little cheap $10 laser tachometer from China. It took a month to get it. And you put the little sticker on the wheel and it tells you how fast it's turning. Which is really good for a basic tripod Bedini circuit. Um, it was the top speed with these coils put on the bottom it was only giving me 160 and I realized that this board and this board weren't uh, functioning correctly. The other two were working great. Now what I'm going to do, I'm charging up my truck battery. I'm going to release the load on the with the charge side. I'm going to re-tack it and show you the increase in speed without the load. And I think it comes up to about 208. Let's see if it'll do it for me. Yeah, 208 is what I get.